Iodo actual service. In today's video, I'll be showing you the bag that I have been using to carry stuff around on ranger trips when I've been on holiday. Quite a lot of you have asked in the comments since the videos I made in Scotland about this bag and I have neglected to get around to making a video about it. So here is this video. It's only going to be a quick one because there isn't really all that much to show but I hope to do a follow-up video showing you how to make a similar bag. Essentially it's just a cloth sack and the reason that I use this one when I'm on holidays is because it folds up nice and flat in a bag in a suitcase so that I can bring it along with everything else I need to bring with me for normal holidaying stuff. Now I know that quite a lot of you have referred to it in the comments as a snap sack. It isn't technically what we call a snap sack over on the forum. I'll put a picture up of what we call a snap sack. What this is, it has a specific name, the type of bag that it is, and I can't remember that name, I'll put it up on the screen. Now at the moment I am wearing it in over shoulder configuration. And the reason I'm wearing it in over shoulder configuration is because I have a rectangle cloak on. So if I put it over the shoulder that the cloak isn't hanging over, then it doesn't restrict movement at all and it works just fine with a cloak. Now if I wasn't wearing a cloak, I can actually wear this in backpack configuration. Let me show you what that looks like. So, how does this work? Essentially what this is, is a standard drawstring kit bag. So, like what you might take your clothes to the gym in or something. It's got a cinch top with two separate loops in it so that you can pull them together. And it's rectangular in pattern, there's absolutely nothing clever going on here. The only thing that's on this that is different is a great big loop that is sewn to the bottom. So that great big loop starts in one corner and it goes all the way around and it ends in the other corner. So all that you do is you close the bag and then you tie a knot. It might be called a clove hitch, I can't remember, I'll check. So what you do is you put your hand through the loop like that and then you grab the webbing and then you get the bit that's over the top of your hand and you take it forwards like that and that creates a knot and then you put it over the top of the bag and you pull it tight. So then once you've done that it gives you two straps one on each side like that so that you can wear it as a backpack. Now if you want to wear that in over the shoulder configuration Rather than putting your hand through the loop in the middle, you take a short length, about the length of the bag, you put your wrist through there, you do exactly the same thing, like that, and then you put it over the top of the bag and you pull it tight. And what that does is it gives you one great big long one and one short one that you ignore. Or you could tie like other things to it or something and use it as a load strap. But if you ignore it, then essentially what it gives you is an over-the-shoulder satchel. So because it can be worn in two ways, it is extremely useful and extremely handy to bring with you. You can carry a decent amount of stuff. There's no reason why you couldn't make one of these at basically any size. You can make a huge one and use it on an overnight trip or something. But I haven't. I've made it quite small, so it's like, like a sports kit bag size. You can probably tell how to make one of those from my description of it, but I will make a video about an easy way to make one of those for your kit. So I hope that is helpful for all of you who were asking about this particular item of kit. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.